What do you call a bear with no teeth? A gummy bear. You're welcome. Sorry, I had the hiccup. Serving in the Army in 2012, Jeremy met Ashley. They got married, had baby Sam, Jeremy got medically released from the Army, and this brings us up to today. the nest just on the other side of the bird house laying in it right now she just flew off and she has those eggs in it so she's laying on her eggs so we're just getting out of there let her go back it's really cool so unfortunately that property we were talking about on the last video didn't work out so we're gonna head out and look at some more properties So we're walking down. There's Sam sitting down. Yeah, we're just checking out a property that we really like, and yeah. Used to have a camp on it. There's a well and septic on it, so that's like a huge bonus already. For sure. The trees are like all mature trees, so that's super cool. There's maple trees up the front. We'll show you. We just walked out back here. We'll show you the cleared spot up the front and you know, where we would build. Yeah. It's a nice path. It's really nice. Quiet, all you hear is the birds. Just like our current property. We're just walking all up and down this existing path like Seeing the much more mature growth is so much better. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. Super nice. Show you a big maple. It just feels like it could be MBF 2.0. Yeah. Sam so sitting in the new house, I think, where it would be. He's meditating, getting a sense of something. <laughs> This here, big old maple right here, right by the cleared area. We're up in the hills here. So as we mentioned in the last video, we can't really do both, have both Mapleberry Farm currently and buy a piece of land for our, for our halfway point. It's just gonna cost too much. And with the way the economy is right now, we listed the house because the it's a, it's a really good seller's market. So we listed the house just to kind of see what we could get for it. And when we realized what we could get for it, we were really happy with the price and we thought, you know, if we want to move and we have been saying for the last three years that we've been building our current home, that it would be nice to be closer. So now is the time, if we're going to move, now's the time to do it because we can get the most value out of our current home that we could get at any time, right? It'd be right now. So though we're able to get a good amount for our house, which we're really happy with, we've been looking at other houses. We've been looking at land and we've been looking at houses with a bit of land and they're just really expensive right now. Cause like I said, it is a seller's market, which is good for us selling our home, but then having to go buy a new home, it's just going to cost a lot more. And we really don't want to go get ourselves in debt by taking on a mortgage 
because a new home in a better location would be a lot more than what we're able to sell our house for. So what we're thinking is that we could just use the money from selling the house to buy another piece of land in the right location this time and start over. So the nice thing about this piece of land is it's still a pretty good size acreage, but in a way better location for us, for our family, for everything that we need. So what we had been thinking is there's no way that we could um, build a house and be in it by winter because last time we tried to do that we ended up being in our small 24 by 24 the house just wasn't built the way it should have been and we never rushed. finished and we were rushed yeah we, with the medical release and it the was, army it and... was a stressful time we didn't know what was happening we rushed into it and we didn't get the interior all done as we wanted and we do not want that to happen again this time so our thoughts were if we could find a piece of land and the first thing we could do this time would be to build a big garage and put our camper inside the garage. The reason we thought that is we want a garage anyway. So if we were to build the garage and put our camper in it. Looks like a good spot there for a garage, eh? Yeah. Hmm. So we could put the camper in it and then put a wood stove. So we would build the walls, obviously do the floor, the walls, the roof, insulate it and put a wood stove in it. And then at the end of the camping season, take our camper off the lot and put it into our big garage and leave it there for the winter. And we would live inside the camper in the garage with so you the don't wood wreck stove. Your camper. That's right. So we'd have the wood stove and it will heat the garage, heat the camper, we'll run the power to it, and then we'll be able to utilize all the things, the bedrooms, the kitchen, the bathroom, everything that's already in the camper, we can utilize it here on the land. And that way we don't have to rush to get the house done and get into it so we can spend the whole year and even if it takes a little longer just be in the be in the be in the camper in the garage and once the house is done and we're ready to move into it all we got to do is pull the camper out of the garage and bam we have a nice big garage already ready to go so it's not a waste of money because we obviously don't want to waste money on renting a place or building a garage and then having to put partitions in it so we can live in it for a year and things that just don't make any sense and since we do already own the camper it just makes more sense to build just the frame of the garage and put the camper in it and then slowly as we can build the house and this time we would finish the house completely the whole thing instead of doing a small section then our addition we'd do the whole thing as we want it all the interior and everything done before we step foot in it so that's our thoughts anyway we're just looking at this one piece of land kind of getting a feel for it and trying to figure out what's the best road to take now so this here is the cleared out part right here where we would build We'd probably build up on this high spot and maybe put the garage over here, but we'd make those decisions later. But it's a pretty cool spot, right? So, you know, time will tell. We'll see how everything goes. Yeah, we will. It's a good, it's a good option anyway. We're happy with what we see so far. Maybe I'd clear a few more trees. These bugs are going to drive me nuts. Yeah, it's May to June, right? Yeah. This is the bug season. Yeah. So we just got back to our campground, our camper at the campground after looking at some properties, including the one we showed you. Uh, yeah, it's been busy. We're busy, busy time right now, obviously, trying to find the right place and make the right choices going forward right now. So we're probably gonna end up living here at the campground because everything seems to be going well with the sale of our house. It's moving forward really quickly and it appears that you know if is we'll know next week a little more information but we should know by the end of the next next week if it's sold for sure and then it'll be within two weeks of that that they want to move in so that means we have to move out <laughs> and we're probably gonna live here but luckily for us it's on a campsite right now so that buys us a few months to kind of figure out what we're gonna do and if we did put an offer on the property we showed you today it just buys us some time to get started like we said building the garage, moving the camper into the garage and just getting ourselves situated and ready for winter. So we have so much on our plate right now, pretty stressful, but pretty fun at the same time. So wish us luck and we're gonna take you along for the journey as we figure out what to do over the next few weeks and we'll let you guys help us decide and make the right choice. So thanks for coming along and see you in the next one. Oh well, yeah? Yeah, yeah, is that useful to you? Oh yeah, betcha, yeah.